All right, guys, check it out. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a uh, DIY transducer arm mount for the kayak. Boom. So I have this old, this thing is very old. It's probably six, seven years old. Um, Yak Attack Zuka tube with ram mount. Uh, this is a rod holder. And I don't really use it a whole lot. I got this, um, came along with the Jackson Big Tuna when I bought that. And I don't use it a whole lot anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retain this arm right here. This is gonna be the piece that mounts to the side of the boat. I'm gonna use this PVC. And I'm gonna remove the actual rod holder and still retain some of this hardware. And I'll show you how I'm gonna set this up. So I've got this bolt right here. It fits in the arm of the uh, the ram mount. Also got the spring that came, the tension spring that came in the uh, Yak Attack Zuka tube. We're gonna use that. And uh, this is the thumb screw. So I'm gonna drill a hole in this tube, mount it this way, and use the spring to put a little bit of tension on that tube and then secure it <clears throat> with the thumb screw. I'm not sure if this is gonna work or if this is gonna go deep enough. Um, so we, we may have to improvise there a little bit, put a washer or a spacer right here. But the end product or end result is gonna be something like this where the <clears throat> transducer's mounted to one end. This is mounted here to the arm. And this arm can be mounted to the side of the boat. So you just unscrew it, drop it down into the water, and uh, to, to put your transducer in place. Um, I get it. I know there's, there's products out there that I can purchase. Um, I could totally just go buy one, no worries. But at the same time, I kind of like the DIY aspect of kayak fishing and just kind of doing things yourself and thinking through it. And, tinkering and all that so that's what we're gonna do here transducer mount so the hole in the pipe means it won't float around on you won't go sideways Kayak DIY's best friend right there. Zip ties. We're just gonna zip tie this line down so it doesn't move around a whole lot. Boom. Um, over there on the left is my DIY transducer mount with a swing arm. Uh, if that Ramball mount there looks familiar, that is a Ramball rod holder. I just took the rod holder off and fabricated a uh, piece of tube and a longer bolt and a spring that puts tension on it. And uh, just <laughs> zip tied the transducer to it and it works just fine. But I can use my paddle and flip it on and off if I want to. Um, one thing that I've noticed early on here is if I turn the Bixby up to its highest level, the boat starts going real fast, it'll push that arm one way or the other. So like it'll be like skipping up on top of the water or up under the boat. So if I want to use the Garmin, I am going to have to, uh, you know, keep the speeds down on the Bixby or paddle 
Yeah, I want to show you guys how sensitive uh, this sonar is. I just baited up here. As you can see, nice little blue back herring there, and I'm just going to drop one down. And the sonar, or the transducer, is right there. So I'm going to drop it right next to the transducer. Watch that screen. You can see the bait going all the way down to the fish. Thirty feet. As you can see, it stopped right there at about thirty-four feet, which is really, really neat. Um, you know, once you're able to mark the fish with a sonar or like a hummingbird or a Lawrence that can do this, uh, you can just drop it right on their head. Transducer mount up.